Hi friends, it's Suzanne here with another Fabricate Friday episode. Thanks for joining me today. I have a wee little purse. And it's got a very strong neodymium um, magnet on here. And this might actually be too strong, but I thought it'd be really kind of cute. I've never done something like this before, so. I made and wasn't I brilliant i actually made a black example and I will be using um, a different color so you could actually see what the heck I'm doing and I'm hoping that the light um, I've been struggling with having too bright of lights in um, my little studio here so hopefully I have remedied that you guys can let me know if you can see things just a little bit better the configuration is slightly different. It's harder for me, but maybe the camera is going to be able to pick up a little bit more. So today um, you're going to need a card piece of cardstock that is uh, 10 and a half by eight. And on the long side, I usually start with the long side. Our scoring is pretty simple. It's going to be one, two, five, Oops, five, six, and seven. So that's our gusseted area, and that's our gusseted area. And then 10. And then we're gonna flip it to our short side, and we're going to score at two, five, and six. And that's all the scoring we're gonna need for today. So the example is on crisp cantaloupe, but I am still going to use the gold soiree. I'll put that off to this side. It's a little bit shadowy. You know, I work for a living in the daytime, so I have to do a lot of my videoing um, when I'm it, when it's nighttime and right now it's almost one o'clock in the morning so my mom's gonna kill me when she finds that out okay so you're gonna see that you have a two inch piece here and a, a two inch strip at the top this is going to be the lid because this part is the top of the box okay so you can see that the gusseted there's you know one inch strips here ignore the first one but we're going to fold and score the second one. And then I'm going to fold this one like normal and then fold this one like normal. So there's still one in the middle. And then of course the part that we adhere down and then so what we're going to do with these ones, so these ones are sticking up like mountains, we're gonna fold these guys in like valleys. And that one's gonna fold in like a valley. Hopefully that makes sense. So you've got a whole bunch of inning and outing. And then I'm gonna fold up the bottom and score that and for that, or I should say fold and burnish. So what we're going to be removing is this piece and then most of all of this pretty much. So I'll show you. We're going to cut up on that score line and then I like to just wedge that bit out and I'm going to do the same. So I'm basically removing two triangles, or rectangles, I should say. Oh my gosh, it is late. And then these are the sides, um, side flaps. And you know how I like to wedge out. So those ones will be wedged. Skip this one in the middle think of it as a hole and just because it's a little long I'm gonna snip that just in half a little just because 
you don't have to it's probably fine it's just because it has a fold in it I think that I wanted it just a touch shorter but it doesn't do anything to the aesthetics all right so when we actually put the box together right so the the seam is going to be at the back so this is going to be the front lid that pulls over so we are going to remove all of this so be brave my lovelies you wouldn't believe what happened to me uh, the other day I um, I do all my own accounting work and I just bought myself a brand new computer recently and I went ahead and did all my data entry that I have to with all the receipts and all that and I saved it or I thought I saved it in three different places and I didn't save anything and <laughs> so now I have to do two and a half months of book work and I'm I'm not stressed out it's fine but I, I could just kick myself because I thought I saved stuff and I didn't so I have a lot of work ahead of me and I have a big pile of papers sitting on my desk waiting for me and guess what I'm doing I'm hanging out with you guys <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> all right a little bit of uh, sticky strip oh and before I adhere and do a whole bunch of stuff here I want to round those corners and while I'm at it I may as well um, put my designer series paper on so let me get my you need a piece of designer series paper two and three quarter inch by five and three quarters and since I rounded the edges on the other one I might as well round the edges on this one smart hey so hopefully you can follow along this is the first one I've ever done before like uh, a purse like this The reason why I thought I would do the uh, designer series paper first is because I actually did not score this because I'm just going to sort of fold where the um, designer or where the cardstock needs to be folded, and it's probably easier. I didn't do that in this example, but it's probably easier to give it a nice crisp fold. Oh my gosh, I'm so brilliant! even though it is one o'clock in the morning. 12.46 a.m. Canadian time. Okay, take off a little bit of that red line tape. So you can see how it's all coming together now, folks. All right, and the gusset just happens. So. I'm going to fold those little edges in, right? And then this edge has got to go there. And because this is the front of the purse, I'm going to put, should I put sticky strip? Yeah, why not? How am I going to do this with you being able to see me do it? It doesn't matter. You know how to put on sticky strip. I'll explain it. <laughs> I'm going to put a piece of sticky strip on the bottom edge and try to get as close without putting my head in the camera. My head's going in the camera, girls. I'm gents. I am waiting for my fast fuse, so it's not here yet. Hello, focus. All right, all that fussing. So the 
back one goes in first and then the front one folds over. And the reason why, specific way, because you want a nice smooth finish in the front. Okay, so that's how it's gonna go together, but how do we adhere it? Or stick it together? Now, those are, I have giant, they're pretty big. They're Neo, I wrote it down, because I wanna call them dilithium, but that's because I like Star Trek. <laughs> uh, Neo, diminium and they're pretty strong magnets and these are fairly big so what I'm going to do I went to the dollar store the other day and I picked up these are massive uh, glue dots so they're not our usual mini glue dots but um, I liked the fact that they fit these um, extremely large magnets so I'm putting mine on the inside right about about an inch and I'm just sticking it in there and then it'll find its way I'm putting another massive glue dot on the front and what I'm going to do is just try to keep that inch um, or that crease line there make sure everything is nice and straight and then adhere it down so this is the tough part you got to get your fingernail under without ripping the paper maybe I'll use my bone folder this is finicky work here these neo diminium massive Oh, they're awfully strong. I could use a smaller one. But these are the only ones I found in them at Michael's, and I heard that you can get like a whole bunch of different kinds. Okay, so this is a Little Labels Punch Pack, um, and it's the shape that looks uh, kind of like a circle, I guess. I don't know, what shape is that? sort of a scallopy edgy part so I'm putting a little piece of cardstock there and then I'll put another piece of uh, cardstock with another thing of glue just because they're so darn strong I'm having I was having a little bit of a hard time so if I put some paper between them there. I put this one down a little too far and now it seems like I've maybe put this one a little too far up. Good grief. Oh well there's no going back now. So I'm thinking all right so don't do as I do maybe an inch and an eighth or so from the just a little further because you can kind of see that this one has a little bit of a gap. Still cute though might be easier for people to open. All right, stop jibber jabbering. I'm using just a regular hole punch and I'm punching a hole on either side. I wanna make the handle. And I have a piece of, I don't have pistachio pudding ribbon at all in my stash. I mean, I'm lucky enough even to actually have ribbon. I don't use it very often in my cards. So this is Lost Lagoon satin stitched ribbon, I think. And because I had the glue dots out, I just sort of glued them, glued it on the inside. Made a nice finish anyway. All right, so I'm going to cut the end of this very nicely and smoothly, let's hope. And then um, get another one of my giant glue dots since I have them out here. I wonder if anybody else is like me and whatever's on the table is what you use. All right, so I'm aiming it towards the middle 
so it has a nice finish there. And then I decide how long I want my handle to be. It's pretty much for decoration, right? And then OMG. Hello, let's cut. Finally, thank you. Those are actually pretty cool to work with. I don't mind the bigger ones. I just, and seriously, I got it at the local dollar store. <laughs> okay, so I know that Lost Lagoon doesn't necessarily, but it doesn't look too bad, does it? I don't know. My mom would say blue and green should never be seen, but today we are. So there's no stamping in this today, kids, because this was fairly involved. I hope you like the project. And um, yeah, I will see you again next Friday. Bye.